And finally, we could start now creating your geometries. And for our first exercise, we will reproduce this simple title block. But uh, before we start drawing it in AutoCAD or even on your manual drawings and presentations, we need to analyze it first and look at it as a problem. And yes, that's how we think as architects. We don't simply draw, we critically analyze and solve problems. So essentially, we are problem solvers. And for now, our problem is how can we draw this title block in the fastest possible way? Where should I start? And so on. The key here is to think fast, logically. And the moment you start engaging the problem, key ideas emerge. And you could finally start drawing. So for me, I will start first by delineating the extent of the paper. Then use it as my reference for the borders. Then use the border lines as my reference for the title block. And so on. You may have a uh, better plan, of course, and as you progress in learning and using AutoCAD, your efficiency both in drafting and solving two-dimensional problems would dramatically improve. So be very patient and uncover the mysteries of AutoCAD universe one step at a time. So for now, let's begin reproducing the title block with my plan and of course we shall follow rule number one in our class we shall always start new drawings using acadiso.bwt so this shall be our template for metric so click on acadiso.bwt and make sure that your units is in millimeters so type units so units then enter and make sure that the units are in millimeters so it's all good so click ok we are following both rule 1 and rule 2 starting from now we shall be communicating with AutoCAD mostly through the command line window and the dynamic input so make sure that your dynamic input is toggled on as shown on the status bar if the icon for dynamic input is not uh, shown on the status bar, make sure that on the customization, it is checked. And you can also toggle on or off your dynamic input through the function key F12. So let us uh, save first our drawing. So let's perform a superman command. So control S. And... Let's name it uh, for this uh, exercise as A3 title block. And then I'll just save it to my documents. And then and make sure that the file type is 2013 for purposes of opening your files in lower versions, especially that I'm using AutoCAD 2017. So everything is good. Let's save. So from time to time, we can always uh, press Control S to quickly save our drawings. For your case, you may or may not uh, clean screen, but for me, I'll clean screen the ribbon so that it will not clutter the uh, space or workspace that I'll be posting some notes. A3 size is 420 millimeters in length by 297 millimeters in height. So to start, let's invoke AutoCAD to do a rectangle command. So let's type REC on your keyboard. So REC for rectangle, then hit enter. And take note of the command line and the dynamic uh, input. It is prompting you to specify first corner point. So for our first corner, let's enter 0, 0. So 0, comma, and then 0. 
and then hit enter and after hitting enter the command line prompts you again to specify other corner point so for our second point let's uh, input coordinates for 20 comma and then 297 and then enter and then zoom extent so z enter e enter anyway you can always perform zoom extent by double clicking your uh, scroller but for me i'll be using the uh, keyboard entries for you to familiarize yourself with the uh, command line and the dynamic input so let us scroll down a little so that we could see the uh, rectangle that we have created and then pan to center it a little to our drawing space 0 0 and 420 to are coordinates and all objects in your drawing in AutoCAD are defined by the coordinates uh, in relation to the world coordinate system or WCS world coordinate system which is indicated by these lines the red line for the x-axis and the green line for the y-axis so essentially this is your work plane okay so x and y work plane this is like your cartesian planes and coincidentally we also have here the x and y called the ucs the ucs can be moved okay so when you click the ucs you can move the ucs you can also uh, type ucs so escape first so ucs enter and then you could rotate it anywhere you like okay so just press escape and then type ucs again enter and then type world to return to the world coordinate system the ucs is very important when you are in 3d so you could uh, manipulate its origin its orientation to fit to the 3d object that you are creating but for 2d just leave it at the world coordinate system and by the way the x and y of the ucs will be the basis for your ortho mode okay for the direction of your diagonal and horizontal lines including of course uh, when we go to hatches and other uh, objects uh, for example blocks okay they will always be uh, reference to the ucs but for the meantime uh, let, let's leave first UCS and move on with our title block. After delineating our uh, A3 size paper, uh, we can now delineate our uh, border. So let's check on our reference drawing. So the border line is 1 cm all throughout from the edge of the paper. So in millimeters, that's 10 mm. This uh, edge of the paper is 0, 0 and then this upper corner of the paper is 420 to 97. Therefore, the corner for the border is if it's less than and less than then therefore this is the coordinate must be 10, 10. And for the upper corner of the border, it's 410 and 287. So let's go back to AutoCAD and let's uh, invoke again AutoCAD to do a rectangle command. So REC and then enter. This time for the first point, instead of 0, 0, let's type 10, comma, and then 10. So 10, comma, and then 10. And then enter. For the second point, instead of 420 to 97, Let's press 4, 10. You can also use tab key instead of the comma key on your keyboard. So after 4, 10, I could press uh, tab to move on to the next coordinate value, which is supposed to be 287. Enter. And something is wrong. Instead of the upper corner of the 
border being located just below the upper corner of the paper, it coincided with the upper corner of the paper itself. And this is because of the uh, difference between absolute value entries and relative value entries.